Clay popping, clay cracking. Is it clay popping and cracking, clay cracking, clay popping? I think it's clay popping <laughs> or clay cracking. I don't know, but regardless, it pops, it cracks, and I'm obsessed. I have seen this all over Instagram. All of my Slimer friends are posting all these really cool videos. I don't know who came out with this trend, but comment down below who was the first to do this because I genuinely don't know who did it first. I just see everybody posting it, and it's basically clay that you paint with nail polish. You put a few coats, it dries, and then it cracks really cool. Shout out to Tibble Slimes, because Tibble Slimes was actually the one that told me that it was with nail polish. I was like, how do you make these? I have seen a lot of failed attempts on Instagram, and then some nail polish works better than others. I'm gonna go ahead and link this video right here because this person helped a lot, and we're also all gonna test it out. Me, Alex, Raul, and Peter. All right, without further ado, let's get into how we approached this and how we made our clay. You need some clay. Really important thing to take note of, it's air dry clay. We all used Daiso. That is all we use, Daiso clay. We have a lot of molds from Squishies that we've made that are super cute and perfect for this, so we actually decided to try them out. Paint brushes and paint because we're painting on every detail. And nail polish. The nail polish we found was at Daiso. So if you're wondering what nail polish should I use and you think this won't work bomb, it is at Daiso for about a dollar. Using the mold, it kind of gave you an advantage, but also we have to be extra careful getting it out of the mold. While shaping our clay, I found it really helpful to use water because I'm not gonna lie, Daiso clay was a little hard to like really get smooth edges. It kind of starts to crumble up a little bit, so I realized that using water, like dip your finger in water and you could really smooth out the edges. Make your creation, paint it, let it dry for a couple minutes, and then start applying the coats of nail polish right after. You need about three to four coats on these. Um, in between every coat, we let it dry for about 30 minutes and then kept going in with more, depending on how fast your nail polish dries. After you've added all your coats is when you let it sit for up to 24 hours. I got way too excited about my little pancakes that I decided to make big pancakes. It's time for the test. Did they work? All right, let's get into some clay popping.
And there is. These actually came out way better than we thought. A lot of them, if anything, all of them cracked. All of them popped, even the ones that were a little dry. We still got some sounds out of them. The pancakes came out good, all right. They popped, they cracked, but they could have been better. I took days making these pancakes. I, w I took longer making that stack of pancakes than the rest of the small ones I made. Whatever, I don't even wanna talk about it. Comment down below, which one was your favorite one? I gotta say Peppa Pig is a queen. I love Peppa. I love the Peppa one, I love the pancakes. The peach was really cute, the avocado. Should I do any more of these? Let me know down below. What would you like to see in clay popping? Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.